welcome to my guest room. What do you guys think about my hat? It's my mother's vintage hat. It's part of many things that are displayed in this room, part of her vintage collection that I just love. I thought I would just wear it today. I'm not even sure how to wear it, but it kind of gives me a different um, perspective on things. So again, this is my guest room. It's kind of become a dumping ground for extra pillows and blankets and duvet covers that I just don't know what to do with because I don't have storage space to put them anywhere. But I felt like it needed a refresh. You know, it's been a few years since I've done anything to the place. I still love my pattern wall that I stenciled many years ago. But I think at the time I was feeling a little timid about too much pattern, but hey, no, not anymore. My first step is I'm gonna paint my headboard. This headboard I found on Facebook Marketplace many years ago for like 60 bucks at solid wood, but I think gray is safe. And I'm really feeling an olive citrusy green, if you can believe it. But once you change the color, I have to move around the bedding a little bit and adjust. So I'll see what needs to stay. Really inspired by this wonderful company in Australia. It's called nancybird.com and she has clothing and and things for home and the mismatched bedding that she styles in one of her pictures i love it that's the inspiration for today i think there's an art to having beautifully mismatched linens work i'm not sure if i'm I, if i can do it pull it off fabric is really expensive and it's a kind of a bummer because in san diego the really good fabric stores are closing one by one so what I did was I went to Target and I was looking at their tablecloth section because tablecloths are actually the pretty close to the dimensions of a duvet cover for a full or queen bed. I wasn't even thinking of a gingham check, but this plaid check is 100% cotton and it was about $24. And I only had to cut a little bit to make it fit a duvet cover. Plus, I wanted to make sure I utilize my my fabric stash. I have fabric remnants from projects years ago, so I wanted to tap into my collection, maybe to line and contrast this check. Okay, so hats off. <laughs> Let's get the bedding off and prep the headboard for some paint. All right, let's do this. So I've gone through three or four samples of a moss green. That's kind of what I was looking for, but some things were just a little bit too yellow or a little bit too grass green. This one seemed to be in the middle, sort of a moss green. So let's see what it looks like. All right. This is Sherwin-Williams Bengal Grass. And what do you think? Color is one of the hardest things. Okay, now this one is called Shady Lane. This is called Shady Lane. So we've got... I wish you guys were here to help me pick. I don't really know. I tried to swatch the three pink colors in contention. So here is the winner. It took me a moment because I really was looking for a moss green, not so much a grass green. You guys know, you guys have been there. Uh, so that's this. It looks different on the camera than it does in person. So let's give it a whirl. And um, if it doesn't work, we'll just paint over it. While the paint is drying, I am going to put together my duvet cover. I decided to line the other side of the tablecloth with some yellow linen that I had left over from a previous project. I love the color combo of a citrus yellow with a taupey beige. 
Okay, the second layer of green is already dried, and now I'm gonna apply a layer of Annie Sloan Clear Wax. This really protects the headboard. And then to bring out a little bit more of the detail of the carvings and the moldings of the headboard, I'm gonna use Annie Sloan Dark Wax. And the tip with using dark wax is to make sure you use clear wax first. What I do is I take the lid of the dark wax and I always put a little dollop of the clear wax on the side. And then each time I'm using the dark wax, I'm always dipping a little bit into the clear wax to make sure that the dark wax is nice and easy to move around and that it doesn't stain too quickly. Now it's a matter of getting and choosing what linens I want to incorporate into the bed. And so I know for sure I want to incorporate the duvet cover. So let's start from there and then I'm sure everything will fall into place, right? It always does. fresh guest room and I'm sure it's gonna continue to evolve but it's a good it's a good restart so definitely try something new in your place it could just be that one thing I'll see you right here at nutshell living for more small space tips and tricks bye